Everybody shall along. We brothers of great millstone. First and foremost, we give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, 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 Double honors to our apostles and elders of great millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to all you brothers who preach the gospel of truth and in sincerity, always in charity, who's rightly dividing the word of truth directly and correctly. And as you see the title of the lesson, man, it's called what? Great destruction is coming upon the shores of America, man, because that's what the Lord got in store for this place. You know? By everybody going about their business, uh, doing all type of madness, man. You got guys out there so-called preaching the word that's doing all kind of madness within that, man. Guys going out in front of fucking strip clubs and shit, man. Guys bringing guns to camp. You know what I'm saying? Doing all kind of madness, man. When the scriptures tell us to do what, man? Scriptures tell us to, uh, to go establish judgment in the gate, to, uh, uh, to go to the chief place of concourse, man. The Agora. Not go to stand in front of a fucking harlot house. Not go to camp with guns and and, 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 and all that swords and, and all that bullshit, man. The only sword that you should have is the sword of the spirit as it's written in Ephesians, man. This is the power that we have. In the book of Micah, the Lord said, what? Surely I'm full of power to declare, what? The sins unto uh, 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 Jacob, man. What's like? Go ahead. I got a piece up. Oh, yeah. It's Isaiah chapter 13 and verse 1. It says, the burden of Babylon, which Isaiah, the son of Amos, did see. Right, the burden of Babylon. This Babylon isn't talking about ancient Babylon. It's talking about modern-day Babylon, all right? Being America, all right? There's a vision of the future. There's a vision of what's going to happen to America. I'm going to quickly jump to verse um, to verse 7. Um, I'll jump to verse eight, 19 to show you that this isn't talking about ancient Babylon, but it's, in fact, talking about the new Babylon being America. I said, Isaiah chapter 13 and 19. It says, in Babylon, the glory of kingdoms, the beauty of the Chaldees' excellency shall be as when Yahweh overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. So this Babylon that we're talking about in Isaiah, the 13th chapter, is not talking about ancient Babylon. Why? Because ancient Babylon didn't have the same destruction as Sodom and Gomorrah. Ancient Babylon was conquered by the Medes, was overtaken by the, uh, the, the Medio persian Empire, man. This modern-day Babylon being America is going to be completely, utterly destroyed via what? Via intercontinental ballistic missiles, via fire and brimstone, the same way Sodom and Gomorrah went out. Why? Because America is upholding the same wicked uh, uh, um, the wicked ways of Sodom and Gomorrah. Right? And, this, and this is what the real prophets are supposed to be talking about, man. This is what they're supposed to be uh, pushing out there on the highways and hedges. Prophecy. About what, man? Telling the, uh, the children of Israel to repent because the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Having full understanding that all Israel ain't going to come to repentance. That this only for the elect and the Lord who's the, uh, the picking and choosing. He does the sifting. Telling these heathens they downfall. Telling them they destruction of what's to come. Guys is all full of gimmicks and bullshit, man. Hey, the Lord is about to bring judgment upon this place, man. And upon all the false prophets and all, upon all the niggas who's playing with the Lord's work. It's the book of Ezekiel 3, 33, verse 1. It says again, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, speak to the children of thy people. And say unto them, when I bring the sword upon a land, if the people of the land take a man of their coast, set him for their watchman, if when he seeth the sword come upon the land, he blow the trumpet and warn the people. Like the brother said, we are set to warn the people, man. The Lord commanded us to do this. We got a watchman. According to the book of Habakkuk, we must stand upon our watch. We watch for prophecies, man. We watch for the uh, uh, scoffers, man, because we keep us other sheep. And we doing all this for what? The edification and, uh, and um, building and warning our people, man, that with the destruction is coming. It says, verse 4, Then whosoever heareth the sound of the trumpet, and take not warning, if the sword come and take him away, his blood shall be upon his own head. Right, because it says what? Uh, I believe it's in the book of Jeremiah. How long? Uh, he said, my bowels, my bowels. Because I heard uh, the trumpet and the sound of alarm. This is what we sounded, man. He heard the sound of the trumpet. Also in the book of Jeremiah, it says, how long shall I hear the, uh, the, the trumpet, man? The Lord said he has set watchmen up. But you got niggas out there that they... Go ahead, bro. It says, he heard the sound of the trumpet and took not warning. His blood shall be upon him. But he that taketh warning shall deliver his soul. But if the watchman see the sword come 
and blow not the trumpet, and the people be not warned. If the sword come and take any person from among them, right? So like it blowing the trumpet is what? It's giving the warning out, like it says in Joel. It says, it says sound the alarm and, uh, uh, to my people. Won't, won't give them warning from you. Like the brother was going into to speaking of the prophecies, man. We have to tell you what the Lord is going to do before he does it, man. He says, uh, 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 he says, surely the Lord Yahweh will do nothing, but he revealed the secrets to his servants, the prophets. So we're supposed to be what? Revealing those secrets. He said, what you say about uh, uh, what I tell you in secret, proclaim ye upon the housetops, man. The word proclaim means to pro prophesy. Pro means before, claim to speak, man. All right. Say what's going to happen. Say everything that the Lord is about to do to this place, man. We're the heralds of the king. The heralds of Yahweh, Shem Yahweh Shai. We're announcing his beautiful, glorious return, man. Just like if a boxer is finna get in the ring, all right, and, and fight, you got you got the announcer saying, "Yeah, this is so and so Bruce, undefeated." You Bruce know? Buffer, yep, yep, Bruce yeah, Buffer, Bruce Buffer, yep. Uh, on hype, hyping it up, hyping up the uh, hyping up the fight. You know what I'm saying? Before before the fighter enters into the ring, that's what we're supposed to be doing, man. Telling you everything that Yahweh Shai is about to do before he makes his return. It's all written about because he's about to enter into the ring. He's coming back not for fun and games. He's coming back not for hugs and kisses. But he's coming back to bring fire upon this place, as the scriptures say. He's coming to bring division. He's coming to bring a sword. It says the slain of the Lord shall be many. So these are the things that we are to be talking about. Jeremiah 28 and 8, the things that uh, the prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesy both against many countries of war, of evil, and of pestilence, man. So that's what we're going into. And the brother talks talked about prophecy. Um, second Edges the 15 chapter. Speak in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in your mouth. So if you ain't talking about prophecy, that means the Lord ain't put it into your mouth. I mean, you ain't got the spirit of the house shot behind you. Man. Yeah, spirit. Uh, I'm going to read this. The brother quoted real quick. It's Matthew 10, verse 34. Just think not that I am come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. And knowing all these things, like it says in Peter, knowing that all this is about to be dissolved, knowing that these things is about to come upon this earth, what manner of men ought we to be in all holy conversation and godliness, man? You see? These are the things that we ought to be pushing. We ought to be pushing this righteous vibration out on the earth. The scripture says, what? Through the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. That, mean, that, that word compel means to what? Threaten. Look. Unless ye repent, ye shall all likewise perish, man. Hey, you see these, these judgments that's happening to these people all across the world? Y'all was just saying, what, you think they was the, the most wicked people on the earth? I tell you, nay, right. unless ye repent, ye shall all likewise perish, man. Hey, that's what's about to come upon this place, man. What was that, um, a fucking typhoon hit over there? What was that, uh, in Africa or something? Fuck, I'm mad as hell, I don't remember, man. It was Indonesia? I know a big ass typhoon just went through, man, and murked a whole lot of motherfucking people, man. And yeah, I'm cussing. What happened to uh, that Ethiopian plane went down, man? All those people died on that plane. See, this is judgment that's going across the world, man. And you got guys playing with the word of Yahweh by Shem Yahushai. You got niggas all oh, show me in the Bible and all oh, this bullshit, man. Great judgment is coming upon this place, man. And we pray that it comes more speedily and speedily. And we pray that it pass over us, man, as it is written in the book of Luke, the 21st chapter. We pray that we are worthy to escape these things to come. You see, because we're moving in fear as Noah did in Hebrews, the 11th chapter, man. Can we get that to Hebrews 11 and 7? And the brother get Ezekiel 21 and uh, 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 start at 9. Because this is what's coming upon this place, man. This is Ezekiel 21, verse 9. It says again, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, prophesy and say, Thus saith Yahweh, say a sword. A sword is sharpened and also furbished. It is sharpened to make a sword slaughter. It is furbished that it may glitter. Shall we then make mirth? Now you picture that in your mind. It said a, a sword is sharpened. It is sharpened. It is furbished. When something is furbished, man, that's you polishing that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? So when you pull it out that sheet, man, that motherfucker goes shing, like on the cartoons and shit. You see the sparkle on the end of the blade. Just, 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 just picture that, man. It says it is furbished. It is sharpened. You see? That sword is talking about who? A brother? Oh, I grab it. This is um, the book of Psalms, chapter 17. Uh, I think it's 13, if I ain't mistaken. Psalm 17 and verse 
Yeah, 13, it says, Arise, O Lord, disappoint him, cast him down, deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword, man. So according to Revelation, the 12th chapter, it says, what, this devil is coming down with great wrath because he knoweth that he had but a short time, man. See, Esau Edom ain't out here playing games, man. This devil knows exactly what's happening, man, with all, with all us sincere brothers. And I'm going to keep that in mind, sincere brothers, man. Who's standing out there doing what, man? Who prophesying, crying aloud, sparing not? Standing upon their watch, being a brother's keeper, watching for their nation. What the Lord tell us in secret to uh, proclaim that upon the housetops, man? Lord said, if you love me, feed my sheep. Doing what, man? Warn the people of what's coming. So we're going to warn you of the sword, man, that what Esau is preparing to do, as the scripture says, we are not ignorant of Satan's devices, man. Telling you these things about to come down the pipe. Go ahead, up. It says, back in Ezekiel 21 and 10, it says, it contemned the rod of my son as every tree, and he have given it to be furbished that it may be handled. This sword is sharpened, and it is furbished to give it unto the hand of the slayer. Who was the slayer, man? You see, the same nigga that got that sword in Revelation, the sixth chapter. Same nigga whose blessing is a sword in Genesis, the 27th chapter. He's coming down in great wrath, man. Well, you got niggas playing games, man. Look at the state of this fucking wicked ass place, man. Look at the state of our people. We vex with the filthy conversation of the wicked every goddamn day, man. Sick and tired of the whole wicked-ass vibration of this wicked-ass place. As the scripture says, to deliver us from this present evil world, you got niggas pull bullshitting and, and, and playing around, man. We in the spirit, hey, hey, see, and that's the difference between us and them, man. That's the difference between the spirit of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai and the spirit of folly that's on these niggas, man. It says that the house of David waxed strong and stronger. Through what? Through faith, man. They seeing these things happen. They're getting bolder and bolder. As brothers making those prayers, as, as Paul said, make prayer for me that I, that I may uh, uh, speak with all boldness in the spirit of the Lord, man. You seeing that happen. The apostles pushing out nonstop videos, all brothers around the world, man. Videos getting pushed, getting pushed. The boldness of the men, you can see it, man. It says the light of the righteous is, is shine brighter and brighter to, uh, to that day in the book of Proverbs, roughly paraphrasing the scripture. Because we're sick and tired of the bullshit in this world, man. The vibration of this place. Sick and tired of getting up every goddamn morning and got to clock in to a fucking job where these motherfuckers is taking majority of your money anyway, man. You got children, you got to send them off to Esau, eat them fucking fool system. You ain't eating right food. You ain't breathing the right air. Your water ain't even clean, man. But you got niggas who, who like to put on a fucking show. Go ahead, Doc. Hey, you didn't quote the wisdom song to him? I, I, uh... You didn't quote it, huh? yeah. Well, my spirit, <laughs> I got it. <laughs> <laughs> because it was in my spirit, and I did quote it, but I didn't quote it. Oh, I, I feel, so this was the song of 12. And 17, because hey, that's the difference. We really believe in, uh, like it says in Proverbs, you know, when uh, hope deferred makes the heart sick. But when it comes to pass, it is just a true light. We actually see these signs, and that's why Yahweh Shai told us to watch, man. So we don't fall back to the world. So we don't become like that unfaithful spirit, man. If you, if you keep your ear to the ground, so to say, you can see and feel what's coming, man. This place is going down. So we know what it is, man. We know we got to, hey, it's like when. Hey, when Noah started to feel those raindrops, he knew it's time to get into the ark. You know, you know, said the Lord working on the phone and never felt the drop. But we see it coming, man. We feel yeah. the drops. We know what time it is. We know, hey, we gotta, we need to hurry up. We gotta finish this this work, man. And what y'all was trying to say? He said, uh, uh, when you see the trees blossom, you know that summer is hot. The water, you know, the water. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. You look at the sky and see this red and water. Mm -hmm. You know it's foul weather. We want, we're, like the apostle said, we're the spiritual watchmen, man. So this is wisdom of Solomon 12 and 17. For when men would not believe that thou art of a full power, thou showest thy strength. And the Lord has been showing all type of judges for the last, I mean, always, for the last few years, he's been turned from hurricane. 
look, this this to me, this is one of the most wilding things I ever heard in my life, really. The fact that he took when the hurricanes hit like two years ago, he took whole bodies of water out the water. People was walking on the sand on the, the sand where the water was at. Y'all don't realize how miraculous that is. And now the water back. Like, what the fuck? He did that multiple spots, man. That's the power of the Lord. For a man will not be- It was a whole fucking river in the desert. It was a whole river flowing in the goddamn desert, man. It's showing you that these things is of Yahweh Bashan, Yahweh Shah, man. These are signs, man. Come on. Hey, wildfires. They 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 like cause mudslides, people dying, homes on fire. And we only in March of 2019, the year of Karachma, man. Animals beaching themselves, animals falling out the skies. Uh, one of the seas actually did turn uh, uh, blood red, like the prophecy said. <laughs> it, it, this is it. this is the word of the Lord, man. For when man will not believe that thou art of a full of a full power, thou showest thy strength, and among them that know it, thou making their boldness manifest. All right, so like the brother Bay said, man, the brother's no bold, man. That's good to say, set thy face against Mount Sierra, man. That's what you're for, man, because hey, the Lord is about to bring great. Hey, look, y'all, hey, can we get Jeremiah 16? Jeremiah 16, 16. All right. It's Jeremiah chapter 16, and verse 16. It says, Behold, I will send for many fish. Sixteen, uh, 14, or 14. This is uh, Jeremiah chapter 16, and I'll start at verse, uh, I'll just start at 13. It says, Therefore will I cast you out of this land into a land that ye know not. Neither ye nor your fathers, and there shall ye serve other gods day and night. Hey, right. and like uh, uh Second Thessalonians the second chapter said, you was gonna you know that great following had to happen. So that happened. We come over here in this land, lost our heritage, served slavery, currently still serving it, but we coming up in the period where the Lord is delivering us, which is the point of this. Where I will not show you favor. 14. Therefore, behold, the days come, saith the Lord Yahweh. That it shall no more be said, the Lord Yahweh living, that brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. But the Lord Yahweh living, that brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north. That's right. Well, we coming from majority of us, North America. All right. Babylon the Great. This is where that great deliverance is happening. Yeah. Yeah. All right. And what does the Lord say? Well, uh, the year of his redeemed and uh, the, the hour he should punish the, uh, his enemies, man. Roughly paraphrasing. The year of uh, recompenses. God. So it's like Egypt. He delivers out of Egypt for what? Great destruction. That's what's coming, man. So he can save us. Okay. He says, But the Lord Yahweh liveth that brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north and from all the lands whither he had the, driven them, and I will bring them again into their land that I gave unto their fathers. There you go. So as, as famous as the Egypt deliverance is, they make movies about it to this day. All right, and this is going to be greater than that. Mm -hmm. the, whole, hey, the whole world is going to talk about this for, hey, forever, really, man. It says the smoke of that torment, uh, the destruction, shall go up from generation to generation. Roughly paraphrase, it's going to be everlasting smoke, man. Everybody's gonna know that this this is what happens when you don't serve Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. That's how great destruction is coming to America, man. All right, and then on top of that, the different catastrophes across the globe, because He got to deliver us from all four corners of the earth. All right, so just as famous as the flood is, all right, it's gonna to top the, uh, um, the Egyptian escape. That's what's that's what time we're living in, man. This is the best time ever to be alive if we're the men of the Lord, man. Go through the spirit, and we hope to be. Yeah, because it says that uh, this is the day that the prophets look for, you know, right. and, and uh, we the prophets coming back, man. This is what we've been looking for since the beginning of time. This is what we've been looking for since 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 uh, before the world was created, man. Yeah. We're looking for the kingdom of heaven to be established. This is what Ezra's asked about in uh, uh, Ezra's the sixth chapter, man. What shall be the parting uh, asunder of times and the end of this world and the beginning of the next, man? The uh, the apostles, the disciples, they asked Yahweh Shai multiple times, man. All right, show, show us the signs of your coming in the end of this world. That's in Matthew, the 24th chapter. And, uh, at the, the, the first chapter, the sixth verse, it says what? It says, um, it, it says, it's, it's now the time that you're going to uh, restore the kingdom back onto the Israelites. All right. They were always looking for that time. And now we are in those times, man. 
So now is the time to go hard. Now, now is the time to be running a, a full speed, trying to get across that finish line, man. Pushing out the vibration of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, pushing out them prophecies so that the Lord can bring swift uh, 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 destruction upon this place, man. All right. If you bullshitting around, that means you want to stay here, man. If you bullshitting around, that means you don't want the kingdom. That means you don't want the spiritual powers. That means you want to continue to be a servant for the devil. That means you want to continue to walk around and see sodomites everywhere, man. You got to be wholeheartedly in this truth. Second Edges 4 and 35. It says, did not the souls also of the righteous ask questions of these things in their chambers, saying, how long shall I hope on this fashion? When cometh the fruit of the floor of our reward, man? It's like Acts the first chapter. Will thou at this time restore the kingdom to Israel, man? Uh -huh. It says these are the questions that the righteous are asking, man. You see? Hasten in that day. Cry out to you, how about Shammai was shot? Asking the Lord, how long? Like it says in Revelation. When the saints die and they go up, they, 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 they cry out and say, Lord, how long will thou not avenge our blood upon the earth, man? Well, the same thing we cry out in that parable, I believe it's Luke 18 chapter. The Lord said, what shall not he avenge his own elect that cry out to him day and night, man? It said he will surely avenge them. Ezekiel 9 and 4, you got to be out there signing and crying for all the abominations that's done in the midst. You see, Lord, how long is this going to How long is your creation going to mourn? How long is, is, is your name going to be blasphemed, man? How long are you going to be disrespecting it and, and wickedness is going to be perpetrated throughout the earth? See, these other camps ain't speaking about this, man. They ain't crying out of the, of the wickedness in the things that's, 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 that's happening in this earth. It's a show to entertainment. Something to get some fame or clout. You're right, clout. Perfect. Yeah. This is Psalms 94 and 3. Lord, how long shall the wicked, how long shall the wicked triumph? How long shall they utter and speak hard things? And all the workers of iniquity boast themselves. They break in pieces thy people, O Lord Yahweh, and afflict thy heritage. This is the same thing Ezra was asking about uh, in, in the sixth chapter. He said, if the world was made for our sakes, how can we have no inheritance? How long will these uh, heathens, which is reputed as nothing, uh, rule over us? How long shall this endure? Cause we're tired of this shit, man. You gotta be, you, you're not supposed to love this shit, man. You're supposed to hate your life unto death. It says, verse six, it says, they slay the widow and the stranger and murder the fatherless. Yet they say the Lord shall not see, neither shall the power of Jacob regard it. And this is what they say. And this is what they thinking in their mind that they just gonna have their way with us. And they just gonna roll over us like the Lord ain't dealing with us, like the Lord forsaking us, man. Well, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai is going to show you otherwise, man. He's going to work a great work in these days, man. Okay? He's going to show you. He's, he, he's already risen up his men. And he's going to defend those men. He said, touch not my anointing and do my prophets no harm. He said, when the enemy shall come in like a flood, I will lift up a standard, man. Yahweh Shai said, I will be with you even unto the end of the world, man. It's Hosea 12, verse 5. Even Yahweh, the power of the host. Yeah, how is his memorial? When you go into the word memorial, it means Zahar. the Hebrew word is Zahar. It says a memorial remembrance of memory. So, hey, when you think about Yahweh Hashem Al Shai, hey, you know what it comes with that name, that reputation, man. You know, that name holds weight. The Most High is going to deliver us, raise up his men. Look at the generation of old, and hey, the Most High got us, man. You know, and knowing that the sword coming, and Yahweh Hashem Al Shai is bringing great destruction, man. Just as the destruction he did in Egypt, like the brother Mathathi was going into, it's still talked about today in cartoons and shows, man. How much more the deliverance and the destruction of America, man, is going to be a memorial forever. If you think about your Yahweh Shem Al Shai, you're going to know, hey, kings was taken down by this power. Man was delivered, brought high through this power. Man brought low. Well, well he was just going into it. Now, uh, Jeremiah 16 said, it will no more be said the uh, the Lord Yahweh that delivereth them out of the land of Egypt, but the Lord Yahweh that delivered them out of the land of the north, talking about North America. So that shows you what happened when the Lord destroyed Egypt. His name was declared. His name was broadcasted. And his people, not only was his name feared and a uh, 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 reverence, but even his people. Everybody was scared of his people. All right. All the other nations, they feared uh, uh, his people. Why? Because they knew that the Lord was dealing with them. Man. Yeah, they would have robbed Satan. 
said that the inhabitants uh, of, of the country, their hearts melt because of you. <laughs> they have heard what Yahweh have done for you, how he dried up the sea and destroyed those Egyptians, man. Hey, uh, 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 in, in the book of Samuel, when um, those Philistines was fighting against us, man, when the Ark of the Covenant came into the uh, in, in, into the camp, it was a, 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 a cry that was made, man. And those Philistines, man, hey, hey, if I can just find it real fast. Yep, this is uh, 1 Samuel 4, and I'll start at 5. It says, and when the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord came into the camp, all Israel shouted with a great shout so that the earth rang again, right? Meaning the earth shook, man. You see? And when the Philistines heard the noise of the shout, they said, what meaneth the noise of this great shout in the camp of the Hebrews? And they understood that the ark of the Lord was come into the camp. And the ark is a bridge between the Most High and us, man. And who is that bridge? It's Yahweh Shah, man. We got our ark back, baby. You see? And we're making that shout, man. That's us out there on the highways and hedges, blowing the trumpet. Let's keep going. It's verse 7. And the Philistines were afraid, for they said, God is coming to the camp. And they said, woe unto us, for there have not been such a thing heretofore. Woe unto us, who shall deliver us out of the hand of these mighty gods? These are the gods that smoke the Egyptians with all the plagues in the wilderness, man. You see? Hey, you know what? These kings of this, uh, today, they got that same mentality, man. And these at least Esau, they know who our power is, man. All right? And they plan on fighting against our power. But they he said what? They are afraid and yet they're, and yet they're fighting. So the Lord is putting that spirit on the fight, man. They, they, they fucking trembling, man. All right, when they see a hey, Revelation 11, man, they seeing us standing back up out here telling them that their kingdom is going down. This is pissing these devils off, man. So no, we, we can't take for granted this work that we're doing. The Lord said they are first going down by this word, man. Esau was throwing bench fits because we bring this truth out, man. That's why they're finna come down and have a great ride. Man. This is Zephaniah 1. What's he doing with that? Yeah, yeah, this is Zephaniah 1 and 14. The great day of Yahweh is near. It is near. It hastens greatly. Even the voice of the day of Yahweh, the mighty man shall cry there bitterly. All right? It says the, the voice of the day of Yahweh. Man, we got him proclaiming this thing, man. All right, this way we we making sure the Lord have a grand interest to this world, man. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, it's like the uh, Bugs Bunny, one of my one of my favorite little clips. Um, he had the herald, the herald, he blew the trumpet out, he pulled the scroll out, and he said the king is coming. Then the king, then he rolled the red carpet out. The king popped up on the scene, and he got to beating Esau's ass, man. Bugs Bunny starts to uh, uh, he was uh, uh, arrayed in, in royal apparel. All right, and he was beating uh, 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 the dude's ass, man. All right, that's what's gonna happen when Yahweh Shai comes back, man. And he's talking down upon him, talking, talking shit to him, man. That's what we're gonna do to you, Edomites, man. All right, for all the hell that you have done unto us, that's what the Bible says. It says that great recompense is gonna come to you, and the Lord is with you, uh, is with it, sloppy. The Lord is with it, man. Second, Second Thessalonians 1 and 6, it says that the uh, it's a righteous thing with them, we follow to recompense tribulation to those that trouble you. Revelations 13 and uh, 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 10, it says, He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killed with the sword must be killed with the sword. This is the patience and the faith of the saints thereof. And in Psalm 149, it says, uh, uh, they're, They'll wake up with a two edged sword in their hands so that they can uh, uh, execute the judgment written, man. This is what we're looking for, man. If you ain't looking for that, get the fuck from around me, man. I don't want to be around you, man. If you're looking to build up in America and, and stay in this place for 10 more years, I don't want to be in this place for 10 more damn minutes, man. I want to be in the kingdom with my feet up chilling, man, in a new body, all right, where I don't have to go off, where I don't have wicked thoughts in my mind, where I ain't got to uh, worry about going to work or worrying about being built, all right, or worrying about let me strap a condom on so I don't get a, a woman pregnant, all right, or, or get a disease or, or whatever the fuck, man, all right. This is the things that you have to worry about in the kingdom. All that, all the worries is going to be gone, wiped away with, man. It says that in the book of Revelation, the 21st chapter, the 21st chapter, he said he'll wipe away our tears. There'll be no more sorrow. There'll be no more pain, man. No more hurting in this place, man. If you're not looking for that, you're going to die here in America, man. If you're looking for someone that, if some, for something else, all right, you're going to die here in America. The scriptures talk about your eye being single. If your eye is not single, then your eye is evil, man. And you you feel it, you're full of darkness, man. Okay. I, I got one favorite real quick. It is Psalms uh, 144, verse 10. 
It is he that gives salvation unto kings, who delivered David his servant from the hurtful sword. Going back into the sword, we are commanded to warn our people from that. It says, rid me and deliver me from the hand of a strange children whose mouth speak vanity, and their right hand is a right hand of falsehood. That our sons may be as yeah, strange children, man. Hey, the most strangest person is the Edomites, man. Say the wickedness is strange from the womb, man. They it say they right hand is that the script say their right hand is false? Okay. You know, kind of right hand, they, they power that's where their power lies, man. In their lives, man. But we're bringing down all their power through the truth, man. The truth always beats the lie, the light always beats the darkness. Hey, ain't that in the first entrance, the fourth chapter? It's true. That's it. It's true. It's taking down this king. Man. That's it. Yeah. yeah, this whore, this woman. Right. All right. Uh, America. Yeah, this queen. Yeah. You, know, you think about it. Hey, this, this kingdom right here was built on lies. Hey, but we built a kingdom that's built on truth, man. That's so, right. hey, that's hey, that, hey, you can't that's break down the truth. You know what I'm saying? That's it. Hey, lies can be. We tearing down these lies, these strongholds that these devil has pushed upon us, man. We tearing them down, you know? Right, right. I got a brief for you. Can I hand out? It's second Ezra's 10, and I'm gonna start at 52. It says, For I knew that the highest would show this unto thee, therefore I commanded thee to go into the field where no foundation of any building was. For in the place wherein the highest began to show his city, there can no man's building be able to stand, man. You see? So that's why in the fourth chapter, second Ezra says, What? That if the evil that is sown be not of a turn. Then the righteous can't come. Uh, let me get that. I butchered. This is Second Ezra four and uh, verse twenty nine. It says, "If therefore that which is sown be not turned upside down, and if the place where the evil is sown pass not away, then cannot it come that is sown with good, man." So just like the walls of Jericho, what happened, man? They are uh, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahusha. Our voices knocked down those walls, knocked down those strongholds. Well, that's the same thing that's taking place. Second Corinthians, the tenth chapter. It says what, man? Oh, you you hold it. That's uh, this is uh, Hosea six and five. Therefore have I hewed them by the prophets. I have slain them by the words of my mouth, and thy judgments are as the light that goeth forth. That's what the Lord is doing, man. You know, hey, uh, uh, like by us, man. We 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 are the mouth of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, and that's why He's taking out this. Hey, and just seeing the prophets alone outside, that should scare you, man. Yeah, you yeah. know, yeah. hey, what happened when Samuel came? You know, it, it's, it's it's like, that you know, hey, because in Jeremiah twenty-eight and eight, it tells you that what the prophesied, they, they they prophesied against many great kingdoms, many countries of evils, pestilence, of war, you know. So that in itself should be like, damn, oh shit, damn, boy. This is, damn, the Lord is about to do something, you know? God. And you know, it's funny, Esau, these heathens know it. That's why Esau rising up against us, man. Right? Only people that don't get it right now, of course, the other heathens, who cares? And niggas, man. Simple niggas. Everybody else is realizing that this is it, man. This is the truth right here. This, this kingdom is done. All right, the, 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 dollars, the dollars out the fucking window uh, internationally, right? Soon hyperinflation is going to kick in. Then war is going to be with the, it's going to, uh, like how was said, uh, you know, uh, th these two things should come upon her in their perfection, man. Destruction and loss of children. You know, that's what's coming to this place, man. Hey, you know what? I got a precept for you, man. I gave you uh, back to Brother Pomario. What do you say, man? We both the kingdom based off truth. These things are going to happen, man. And this is Isaiah 28 and 16. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, how behold, I lay in Zion for a foundation, a stone, a tri-stone, a precious cornerstone, a sure foundation. He that believeth shall not make haste. For this word is certain, man, it's sure. All right? We ain't, ain't got to go out here and try to take this king down no other way. We ain't got to make haste. Look, all we got to do is stand on this foundation. Build upon this right here, man. Now what Shai said, said if he make uh, righteousness, does he make war, man? He's already defeated these people, these nations, man. We watching it play out. They got them fucking each other. Hmm. Like All the right? Maccabees. Like, <laughs> yeah. When they yeah. when they, 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 they yeah, you know, they heard they heard about the uh, the valiantness of uh, Judas, and they heard that he was on his way. Man, they got the bugging out. Man, they was panicking and shit. They was stabbing each other, running into each other, knives and shit, man. Yeah. Lord, for you, 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 all other nations take this kingdom down, man. Now all fighting for next, only fighting for a one world government. 
fighting the single hand advantage in it, and, it, and y'all finna tear each other down at the same Hey, the Lord, go, cool, man. That's the, um, um, I forget the that type of warfare it is, but how do you despise and such, man? All right, that's how Shai did. He put, he placed certain messages in y'all ears. That's now, nice. yeah, espionage, the water. Now y'all going at each other, man. Hey, this is Zephaniah 3 and 8. This is the Lord's plan right here, man. It's Zephaniah 3 and 8. It's like, therefore, wait ye upon me, see the hour, until the day that I rise unto the prey, for my determination is to gather the nations that I may assemble the kingdoms, to pour upon them my indignation, even all my fierce anger, for all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. So and that started with Yahweh, man. And Yahweh Hashem Yahushai is great, great destruction, man. All right, this, and America, Babylon, the greatest, getting the greatest portion of it, man. All right, this place in um, the Valley of Joseph, man. All right? The uh, oh, Babylon and the land of the Chaldees, you know, spiritually speaking, man. I can go back to the Isaiah 13. It's Isaiah chapter 13 and verse uh, 2. Started verse one, it says, The burden of Babylon, which Isaiah the son of Amos did see, as we established in the beginning of the video, this is talking about America, right? The destruction of America, the burdens, the plagues that's going to come upon America. Verse two, and this is what it starts with Lift ye up a banner upon the high mountain. The banner is what? This truth, that standard, okay? It says, Exalt the voice unto them, cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet and show my people their transgressions. It says, shake the hand that they may go into the gates of the nobles. And that we're seeing that already on a, uh, 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 on a low level, man. All right. Or on the first level, I should say. Man, you got us all over on the news. It's, uh, Israel all over on the news. And in these mainstream media outlets, man. All right. That's the, that's the beginning of it. Verse 3, so that's prophecy. All the, that prophecy is being fulfilled. The prophets is out there and they're being, uh, uh, they're, 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 they're being made famous, man. All right, being, being broadcasted all over the world, all over the internet, and even on TV, Fox News and CNBC and all this other shit. Verse 3, it says, I have commanded my sanctified ones. The sanctified ones is the elect. The Lord commanded us. that. that, that how did he command us? Because uh, uh, Jeremiah, Jeremiah 1 and 5, it says, I ordained before I, uh, before I knew thee. Uh, before, before, I formed, me, before I formed thee in the belly, right, before you came out outside your mother's womb. Uh, uh, I, 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 uh, yeah, I, knew uh, I knew thee. So yeah, I, that's how it was. Yep, I knew thee, and I and I ordained you a prophet, man. I ordered you to be a prophet. I commanded you to be a prophet. That was in the spiritual world. So when he was sent to this earth, that's when he became a prophet. It's the same with all of us, man. All right, it's the same with all of us. We didn't come into this truth by coincidence. We didn't come past the care or come past the videos by coincidence. That was the Lord bringing up, bringing out those orders, man. Saying now it's time for you to fulfill your mission. Now it's time for you. We're, we're all soldiers for Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai spiritually, right? It says, I commanded my sanctified ones. I have also called my mighty ones. Those are talking about the angels, man. The Lord, the Lord, he not holding any punches, man. He go, he gonna open up the heavens and, and let the uh, the host of the uh, of, of heaven uh, of, of heaven out, man. Say so Yahweh Shai is coming with his angels in great glory and power. <coughs> it's like it. it said I have also commanded my mighty ones for my anger even them that rejoice in my highness right they rejoice in his highness what does it say in Sirach, man so they be spirits created for vengeance and when they get that order from the Lord roughly paraphrasing they, they will not uh, uh they won't hesitate roughly paraphrasing they're ready to get the word from the Lord they're ready to get the green light it says that the angels is holding back the destruction until the servants is sealed, until all the sanctified ones is woken up and enlightened. Verse 4 says, the noise of a multitude in the mountains, like as a great people, a tumultuous noise of the kingdoms of nations gathered together. The Lord Yahweh of hosts muster up the host of the battle, right? He, the Lord Yahweh of hosts, a host is, a, uh, is an army, all right, a garrison, a military, all right? It says that what the Lord uh, uh, muster, he, he's controlling everything. He's controlling this World War III. He's like the brother mentioned, he's controlling the thoughts going into Putin, these drills that they're doing and these little proxy war games that they're having. Man, the Lord's controlling all of that. Verse 5, they come from a far country, from the end of heaven, even the Lord Yahweh and the weapons of his indignation to destroy the whole land. So it's talking about the intercontinental ballistic missiles. Part of it, and Jeremiah says that the Lord will go into his armory, all right, to get them weapons, man. 
Okay, part of his, part of his armory is the uh, uh, the missiles. Part of his armory is the chariots, the so-called UFOs. Part of his armory is the plagues that he's going to send upon this place, man. I'm going to pray real quick, right. proving the fact that the Lord going into his armory, man. This is the Lord doing it. It's Deuteronomy 32, verse 41. It says, if I wet my glittering sword and my hand take hold on judgment, I will render vengeance to my enemies and will reward them that hate me. Warn it back into that sword. We are commanded to warn the people of, man. Warn it back into that Jeremiah, the brother had come out and said, the sword, the sword is sharpened. Because you go in that word wet, it means... Hebrew word shana, it means to wet, to sharpen, man. And how is these uh, uh, bombs being, uh, it's locking out bombs, but I see them nuclear missiles, how is they being sharpened? How they been modified, man? The constant uh, uh, evolution from the atomic bomb all the way up to the same three, the mother of all bombs. And this is the Lord doing, man. Hey, they say knowledge shall increase, you know? Yep. So, and the Apostle Tahar went into it, said every, every 12 hours, knowledge is increasing. So, they can make a they they doing their drills and they're like okay now we got the missiles to to 20 um warheads 12 hours later they get that thing up to 25 warheads man mm -hmm. okay. the next day they got that bitch up to 50. and deliver it faster right yeah you yep. know more efficient mm -hmm. you know to where it can't be defended against like yep. like like the uh prophecy says yep. he right. says i will make my arrows drunk with blood and was and my sword shall devour flesh that's that sword going back to Matthew 10 and 34. That you have a shot's break. Who the word ignorantly called Jesus? It says, and that with the blood of the slain and of the captives from the beginning of revenge is upon the enemies. Rejoice, O ye nations, with his people, for he will avenge the blood of his servants and will render vengeance to his adversaries. So <laughs> this right there, who is the nations rejoicing with his people? That's Isaiah 14 and 1, man. The strangers being joined unto the house of Israel, man. That's talking about the Israelites. But it said he shall, nations rejoice with his people. He shall render judgment to his enemies. Who's our enemies? Psalms 83. So how can that be talking about the nations rejoicing with us when these niggas getting punished? So that's a prophecy even right there letting you know, man. It says, for he will avenge the blood of his servants and will render vengeance to his adversaries. And who is our adversaries? What nation have not had a part in our kingdom and gotten of her spoiled, man? And will be merciful unto his land and to his people. I got something to back you up. This is uh, the book of Psalms, chapter 7, and I'll start at verse 11. It says, the most high judge of the righteous, and he, uh, the most high is angry with the wicked every day. If he turn not, he will wet his sword. The brother went into that word wet, means sharpen. And he has bent his bow and made it ready. He has also prepared for him the instruments of death. He ordained his arrows against the persecutors, man. Mm -hmm. Which going back to what the brother read in Deuteronomy and what this brother is reading in Isaiah the 13th chapter. And he said, sharpen that sword. So you know when before you go to war, you get sharpen that stroke, that sword, getting you ready for battle, getting you ready for war. And, and that's what's about to come to this place. Hey, World War Three. the end of this place is coming. So, hey, he's been sharpening that, that sword. The brother said, hey, it's, it's, the scripture said that he's angry with the wicked every day, man. So he's been building up this this anger, man. You know what I'm saying? That he just want to release, you know? He right. says that he shall cry, yea, roar. You know? Okay. Yeah. The scripture said what? That, that vengeance is in, is in his heart. You know? He's, like, he's waiting. He's waiting for that. Let me get this. This is Ezekiel 12 and 21. And the word of Yahweh came unto me, saying, Son of man, what is that proverb that the that ye have in the land of Israel, saying the days are prolonged and every vision fading? You know, okay, because that's the attitude of these people, man. They don't think they're, 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 that nothing's ever gonna happen, man. Oh, you guys been out there since the 1960s. It's talking about the same thing, words of destruction. You know? Yeah. You know, so it says. Tell them the niggas that's in the camp, man. Niggas out there in the highways and just think you're gonna just be out there prophesying forever. Debates. You know what I'm saying? Having debates and and, 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 and and teaching in front of strip clubs yeah. and all that bullshit <laughs> in front of CNN and all you want to go to the all-star right. games and all that extra ass shit, yeah. man. See niggas like that, they think they're gonna continue to do this shit. They don't wanna they don't wanna see America destroyed, man. It says, tell them, therefore, thus saith Yahweh power, 
I will make this proverb to cease, and they shall no more use it as a proverb in Israel, but say unto them, the days are at hand, an effect of every vision, man. Mm -hmm. like, like it says in the Habakkuk, man, hey, though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. You know? And, and hey, we already see it based on the uh, uh, on the prophecies, man, how the heavenly are being manifested. You know? It says, uh, there shall be no more vain vision nor flattering divination within the house of Israel. For I am Yahweh, but Hashem Yahweh Shai, I, I will speak, and the word that I shall speak shall come to pass. It shall be no more prolonged. Right. When it says it shall be no more vain vision, see, these niggas going to be found to be liars, man. Like it says in the book of Revelation, you have tried them who are apostles and, and, and have found them liars, roughly paraphrasing. See, these niggas sin, they sin. But who sent them? Not Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. The Lord said his words is going to speak, and you niggas won't be found liars, man. This is. For in your days, O rebellious house, I will say the word and will perform it. Say it, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. You know, so it, it's happening, man. It's only, it's only a matter of time. Uh, you know? And these are days we're living in right now where all these prophecies and these visions is coming to pass. That's why the Lord has given us that knowledge to know these things, man. And that's why we out here warning the people, sounding that, that trump, sounding the alarm, one of y'all, hey man, death and destruction is about to come to this place. So you gotta repent. Repent now or die soon. All right. And this is real quick. Proverbs 10 and 14. It says, Wise men lay up, up knowledge, but the mouth of the foolish is near destruction. Hey, so hey, you fools that don't want to accept this truth. Hey, all the words you saying that this place ain't going that ain't going it's going that it's gonna uh, continue on. Or it's gonna be destroyed, but it's gonna be hundreds of years later, generations, years later, or whatever. Hey, uh, y'all gonna be found out, like the brother said, to be liars, man. And death and destruction is gonna come unto you because of your unbelief, you know. Because hey, we know the truth, man. We know the Lord has given us the signs to see that death and destruction gotta come to this place because of all the wickedness that is perpetuated, man. You, hey, you can't go nowhere without seeing homosexuality. Some these sodomites and trainees. It's on cartoons. It's on. It's in your everyday life, man. Hey, the Lord hates that shit, man. And that's why he got to. Hey, he got to uh, bring that righteous kingdom unto us, man. You know. But so I, yeah. I, I, I want to back you up real quick. Uh, that's the book of uh, Leviticus. Uh, it's John 8 and 32. It says, And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Hey, so Yahweh Shah said, Man, we gonna know the truth, man. It's gonna make us free. So, hey, the Lord revealed once again. I said, Hey, the Lord revealed unto us the truth, that promise that He said He was gonna give unto us, man. We know it now, so we know that we're about to receive it. Right, right. So What's that? Heard. Once that truth came out, that's when that's that was the beginning of the fall in this place, man. All right, in the late sixties. All right, when uh, the elder Abu Vivens uh, uh, popped up on the scene, as it says in Genesis the fourth chapter, it says, then they began to call upon the name of the Lord, man. That's when the name of Yahweh was being broadcasted. The name of Yahweh Shai was being taught, man. The Old and the New Testament was being broken down. Yeah. All right, and then it just continued to grow and grow. All right, we got the whole now 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 uh, that that mustard seed has grown into a big tree. Now there's camps everywhere, man. Watch the elders live streams. Men from Iran, all right, interested men from all over the world, man. Camps in Bolivia and uh, Peru and Costa Rica and Suriname. You know, it's like in Guyana, all uh, Central Africa, everywhere, man. Uh, Australia, brothers in the Philistines, all right, uh, in the UK, London. Okay, the, this truth has has is, it says, have they not heard? Yes, verily their sound went throughout the whole entire world, which means the end is soon because it says in Matthew the 24th chapter that this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world and then shall the end come. The whole world know about us. That's why the whole world is on the live stream. Just read this last week. Someone from England was on our live stream. We are small cap in Des Moines. You know, so let's show you just a whole bunch of it's, 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 it's here, man. It says in Peter, man, the end of all things is at hand. 
And Ezekiel says the end is here. It is here at watch it for thee, man. You know? Did you find that scripture, brother? Yeah. It's the book of Leviticus, chapter 22, verse 32. It says, verse 32, it says, Neither shall you profane my holy name, but I will be hallowed among the children of Israel. I am Yahweh, which hallowed you, that brought you out of the land of Egypt to be your God. I am Yahweh. So, you know, really, you know, all this deliverance, you know, destruction coming, so the most I can be glorified. So, Yahweh, Bashem, I can be glorified, right? For delivering us, for taking out our enemies, right? That's going to be a memorial, you know, and yeah, like the scripture says, I have glorified my name, and he's going to, he will glorify it again. John 12 and 27. This is uh, Jeremiah 30 and 5. It says, For thus saith Yahweh, we have heard a voice of trembling, of fear, and not of peace. It says, Ask ye now, and we see that, man, based on how we, you know, these, uh, these wars are, are being set up. You know, you just had what Israel, a uh, fire of Gaza. You had Russian uh, 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 our, our army, you know, uh, people going to uh, Venezuela. You know, so all this man, everything is playing. So man, this is gonna be a, a, a great destruction, man. Right? It's just a blackout in Venezuela. When right. Nobody talking about that shit. They just trying to blame it on America. This is war right now, man. Yeah. Fucking dumbass, so-called Americans. Y'all oblivious to what the hell is going on outside of your dumbass, stupid ass life that you live in, man. That's meaningless little hoe. Vain is hell. What does Scripture say about uh, vain life? It says, uh, uh, "Let the mark of two perish, which is born in vain, man." Going back into the title, the topic of the lesson, great destruction is coming to this place, man. And it started with you so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Y'all the real Israelites. It's time for y'all to wake up. Otherwise, you're going to die in your sleep, man. You're going to die in this burning house. We try to wake you up. We, sh we shook you, but you got mad at us. Okay, so stay asleep. I'm not going to die in this house with you. I'm not going to get burned up with you. I'm getting out the exit. And the only exit is what? Through this truth. It's serving Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shot. It says, uh, ask ye now and see whether a man does travail with child. Wherefore do I see? He said, ask ye now, see if a man, a grown ass man, travail with a child. It's going to sound like grown men is giving birth through the agony and the pain that they're going through. Yahweh Shai said, there shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. You know? It says, wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins? As a woman in travail, and all faces are turned into paleness. Right, all faces is turned into, uh, into paleness. Uh, when you when you uh, last year there was a false alarm intercontinental ballistic uh, missile attack on Hawaii, and this Jaffite lady she was on she was live streaming. All right, people on the comment board telling her she's pretty, she's smiling, she she she's you know she's smiling, joking, whatever. When she got that alert on her phone that missiles was about to hit uh, Hawaii. Her face turned into paleness, all right? It got hot. Her face got hot. She was a lighter skin a, a woman. You see her skin red. That's her face turning into paleness through fear. She thought she was going to die. She thought she was going to get burnt up, okay? That's what's actually going to happen. Huh? It's just a test run. Government shut down. It's just a test run, taking away your money, taking away your food, your benefits. That was all just a test run, all right, for the real thing. The Lord willing, that real thing happens soon. This is Zephaniah 1 and um, 14 again. The great day of Yahweh was near, it is near, and hasted greatly. Mm -hmm. Even the voice of the day of Yahweh, the mighty man shall cry there bitterly. Like the brother said, men crying uh, as if they were giving birth, right? That day is a day of wrath, a day of trouble and distress. Yeah, it, it said that day is a day of wrath, trouble, and, sh and, and great distress, man. Not cotton candy and uh, tie-dye shirts. And, and 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 marching around with uh damn homosexual sodomites, man. Yeah. The Lord is coming to destroy all that shit, man. Hey, right. as it is written, Woe to you that desire the day of the Lord. Amen. But what is it to you? Mm -hmm. yeah. That's what it's gonna be, man. A day of destruction, like Joel the third chapter says, man. It says what a day of thick uh, uh, uh darkness, man, of uh -huh. gloominess, man. And then it goes into what describing those ICBM nuclear missiles. Uh, scripture also say what lamentation, mourning, and woe, man, is coming to this place, man. 
Man, that day is a day of wrath, a day of trouble and distress, a day of wasteness and desolation, a day of darkness and gloominess, a day of clouds and thick darkness, a day of the trumpet and alarm against the fifth cities and against the high towers. So all the defense systems you got set up and yep. your armory, whatever you got, man, it's going to mean nothing to the Lord, man. Or he's going to have these heathens come and, and jack up the lands. He's going to come personally in his chariots, man. And I will bring distress upon men that they shall walk like blind men. You're going to be confused. You're, going to, you're not going to know what to do, man, because this, the distortion that's coming is something yeah. unheard of. It's a combination of things, man. You're going to have invading one another, famine, uh, nukes, all other missiles, all type of bombs and explosions, right. gunfire. Niggas, niggas with guns. <laughs> people killing each other, just a neighbor against neighbor. Yeah, axes, yeah. bats. Plagues like yeah. Egypt again. So it could be the actual plagues of Egypt, that darkness. Literal darkness, yeah, blackout, yeah, locusts, all that. Hey, the Lord got a lot of stuff man, uh, that, that He Lord. can do, man. Yeah, uh, zombies and shit. Like, there's gonna be cannibalism, you know. These yeah. people that's bugged out, addicted to uh, 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 prescription drugs. When all that shit shuts down, and it, they're gonna go crazy and lose their mind. I had that itch. It says the life is in the blood, man. That's the only thing that's gonna be able to satisfy the man. That blood shit. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Uh, it's Micah two and three. It says, therefore, thus saith the Lord, behold, against this family do I devise an evil from which ye shall not remove your necks, neither shall ye go haughtily, for this time is evil, man. You know? And we use that in Micah 2, and woe to him that devise iniquity upon his bed. We use that going into Esau, Edom. But guess what, man? This destruction is coming upon all the earth, man. And, and, and these people ain't going to be able to remove their necks, man. Meaning what? Meaning you in that jam, dog. God, God. it hurts under the vibration you saw it says uh the, the spirit of power to f you know and i think it's a feature the spirit of power to f all right um uh a day of trump the uh, seven hour one to 16 they have trumpeted an alarm against the thin cities and against the high towers and i will bring distress upon men that they shall walk like blind men because they have sinned against yahweh and their blood shall be poured out as dust and their dump and their flesh as the dung Hey, you're gonna be nothing. You're gonna be wiped out, spread out across the land, the field, man. Yeah, yeah. It says that ain't nobody gonna bury them. You're not gonna have time to mourn for your. You gonna uh -huh. see one of your family members die, and that nigga's just gonna be there dead. Like he gonna stink. It's, it said they should be their carcasses shall be cast out as dung. It's just gonna be a like a like a shit. Like you got a couple dogs and they just shit in the yard. You know, it's a whole bunch of shit. You're going to be, you, you walk through the yard, you step over the shit. That's how you step over the dead bodies, man. It's going to be, it says in, uh, I believe, Jeremiah, the slain of the Lord shall be from one end of the earth to the other. We have to step in over niggas, man. Yeah. Flies and birds uh, uh, eating them and shit, man. You know? And real quick, based off all the dead bodies that's going to be out here according to prophecy, this is Nahum 3 and verse 1. Woe to the bloody city. It is full of lies and robbery and the prey departed not. And that bloody city is likened unto America today, man. It says the noise of a whip and the noise of a rattling and of the wheels of the prince and horses and of the jumping chariots. The horsemen lifted up both the bright sword and the glittering sword. And there is a multitude of slain and a great number of carcasses. And there is none end of their corpse. They stumble upon their corpse. And that's all them dead bodies, man. Y'all seen that movie, uh, Hotel Rwanda? Yep. They was driving, and at night it was real dark. Real dark yeah, yeah. And it just started getting, the roads started getting real bumpy. And it and it's a bunch of dead bodies, man. This is back in Zephaniah 118. Neither their silver nor their gold shall be able to deliver them in the day of Yahweh's wrath, but the whole land shall be devoured by the fire of his jealousy. He shall make even a speedy readiness of all them that go in the that go in the land. And so the Lord is gonna make a speedy readiness of uh, this place, man. All right, what's the man, what's the ultimate weapon to do that, man? ICBM uh nuclear missiles, man. Yeah, them things is fast, man. The fucking fastest things on earth right now. Y'all brothers got anything else? I had one more word quick. Uh Matthews 24. And 21, it says, For then shall be a great tribulation, a tribulation such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, 
no nor ever shall be so it is like you heard you heard some of the things that's about to come to this place man and just imagine all the things that already happened you know imagine that plus on it and put that on the times 10 yeah. you know make less priest of the day as well the time like none other yep you know when you read the scriptures man the lord said i will bring the evil upon this people from which you hear your ears shall see them man so, this, so this, this is just a, 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 a small little inkling of what's actually coming to this place, man. Second Ezra, the 15th chapter speaks about what? The plagues of Egypt come into this place again? Read Exodus, man, and find out what was taking place in Egypt. That wasn't no, no, no cotton candy and, and, and bowl gum taking place, man. All right. That three days of darkness, man, woo! You know? Oh, yeah, fire coming out, of, uh, fire and hell coming at the same yep. time. Yep, it's, and, and it says uh, <laughs> uh, the, the, the fire didn't lose its uh, power from the hell, and neither did the hell melt from the fire. You know what I'm yeah. saying? It spoke about how the bitings of flies was killing people in Wisdom of Solomon, man. So when you read the book of Exodus, man, yeah, yeah, you read it, and you're like, damn, that was fucked up. And no, Wisdom of Solomon goes in to it and it explains the... the it, it, the different things yeah. that was taking place, man. People were having heart attacks just hearing water drops yep. and shit. Yep. Apparitions. You know? Demons. That bro, bro, it, it, it was crazy. And not only not only during that time of Egypt, but tying all 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 that in together, man. Well, 70 AD. You know? You know? Hey, the Maccabees, when they, they saw the strange apparitions fighting in the sky, how the angels came uh, with a horse, with two horses, beat up Helly and Doris, man. And Lord's gonna bring great plague of destruction upon this place, man. Yeah. By the shores of America. Yep. You know? And rightfully so, because this is the most wickedest kingdom ever, man. You know, so it got to get the, the worst judgment ever. Yep. You know? It speaks about what? The famine that's coming to this place, man. How women sign their children. It says, what? You shall snatch on this side and not be filled. You shall eat, 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 man, eat their own arm, man. Uh, yep. It says, you're going to go hide in the mountains. And guess what? You, you're going to die from blood. starvation, man. They're going to drink their own blood. <laughs> they don't eat they drinking their own blood. This man. is what's coming to this place, man. And we ain't even touching the, 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 you know what I'm saying? This is, this is uh, Micah 5 15. It says, And I will execute vengeance in anger and fury upon the heathen such as they have not heard. Man, that, see? Read that again, Bible Chuck. This is Micah 5 and 15. It says, And I will execute vengeance in anger and fury upon the heathen. Such as they have not heard. Man. So that's even mean that even yeah. stuff you can't even imagine gonna happen. You know, stuff that's about to go down, you ain't gonna be able to imagine. You ain't gonna believe it. Like, damn. God. You know? Yeah, that's why Secretary just now said, don't worry about how the wicked shall be punished. Worry about how the elect gonna be saved. Because the, the glimpse that we see is amazing. Right. We see the glass darkness. So imagine what actually comes, bro. It's gonna be bird. Hey, it said the birds gonna gather up to feast. It's gonna be wild feast. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna be some crap. We're gonna see if the lion jump off like a rooftop and grab a human and shit. Right, and, and, and we and, and, and we could picture that in our minds just based off what us reading and us watching movies. Right. You know what I'm saying? But the prophets, man, hey, the Lord yeah, yeah. put them there, bro. They really seen that, bro. Right. Like, like HD. They passed up. What's that's the, why they fainted. They, they got sick. Up. Blew up. You know what I'm saying, man? They, man, bro. And those and, and these is men that witness war back there. You talking about the ancient world, man? In the ancient world, in the law, it says what? Hey, uh, if two men strive and a woman grab the other man's uh, 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 nuts, her hand be cut off. Stolen children. You know what I'm saying? Like, 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 nigga, that shit was graphic, nigga. Oh, no, a bitch, your hand cut off. Stone that nigga. Oh no, burn her ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bitch, they they, they fainted from 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 seeing what's gonna happen in this time to come, man. You could watch some of the uh, recent stuff that they got called uh, Faces of Death, where they actually showing you cutting off a, a motherfucker's arm because he was caught stealing and stuff like that, or shoot, chopping his head off and all that kind of stuff. You can see that stuff, man. So imagine that, times 10, the stuff that the brother was uh, speaking about, man. All that stuff is coming to this place, man. And stuff that you can't even imagine. Man, and that right there should persuade you, man. If what the scriptures say, uh, through the terror of the Lord, we persuade me. That's it right there, man. So, hey, shit, it will behoove you to receive this truth, man, and, and repent, or I'll, I'll likewise pre uh, perish. That's what's going to come to you. Mm -hmm. You know? That's enough, 
This is Daniel 12 and 1. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation even to that same time. You know, so it's, it's going to be great, man. You know, like the brothers were explaining, it's, it's, it's going to be unheard of, man. That's why it's going to it's going to be uh, it's going to uh, be greater than salvation in Egypt. It says, uh, and that, and at that time that people shall be delivered, every one shall be found written in the book. You know, who's that? The, uh, the elect man. You know, and they don't really were were those men. You know, uh, little statements, precepts. And that's right, man. So with that, man, we give all praises, honor, glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shad, Bahasham, Rakatabash. Double honors to our apostles and elders at Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to all your brothers preaching the gospel and truth and sincerity, always in charity. Hey, Shalom. 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 Shalom.